Revelation 1471. From the 14th of June 1940. The Teachings of Christ. Inwardness. Loosen, bind. The teaching of Christ is a structure that is based only on inwardness and lacks any outwardness. Therefore, only that can be regarded as the teaching of Christ, which has such an effect that the nature of man is formed according to the will of God. The outer form on the other hand, does not contribute to the change of the being, it leaves the inner untouched. When Jesus instructed his own in his teachings, he did not give them any regulations or instructions as to the outwardly recognizable form in which they should spread his teachings among the people. He therefore did not make the following of the teachings dependent on externals, but only, purely and simply that the divine word should be taught, accepted and followed. There are also no indications given about a building which should remain powerfully and mightily for eternal times. Jesus only figuratively represented the activity of the disciples who want to serve God and their followers by giving Peter the key power to loose or bind according to his knowledge. He called him to stand up for his divine teachings and to spread them where people were willing to receive them, but to refuse them to those who were still too imprisoned by the spirit of the world, because they did not recognize what they were commanded. And so Jesus made the spreading of his teaching dependent on the people's willingness to receive it. What you bind will also be bound in heaven. What you loose will also be loosed in heaven. These words are only the confirmation that the Lord on earth instructed his disciples to spread his divine word, and so the disciples recognized people as receptive to the divine word, to introduce them to the divine doctrine of love the observance of which brings complete freedom from the banishing form. However, where the willingness to receive the divine word is lacking and this is only accepted as empty sound, can the act of redemption not occur, and therefore the same banished state will be the lot of him in the hereafter, who does not believe the word of his servants on earth. His servants on earth however, are those who spread the teachings of Christ on earth among the people without any externalities, only in the endeavor to serve the Lord God and to help mankind. These his servants will therefore be able to be redemptively active, since they strive for nothing more than the redemption of mankind from the banished state. However, they will also realize that people will not be eternally liberated if they do not accept this inner teaching of Christ and live according to it. They will also enter the hereafter in the banished state. The teaching of Christ is something so deeply inward, that it cannot be replaced by forms and externals, and therefore also he will remain bound who keeps form and externals but inwardly remains untouched and therefore does not follow the teaching of Christ according to the will of God. Everything divine lifts you up, everything human, pulls you down. The teaching that Jesus imparted to his own on earth was divine and must therefore also lead to salvation from the depths. However, if the work of man disfigures this pure teaching, the teaching will lose power if the work of man is respected more because only the pure divine is powerful, and this power has a redeeming effect, while everything human weakens the will of man and this explains the bondage, as long as man just accepts the teaching of Christ in a form, which deviates from what the Lord himself has taught on earth. The Lord has mentioned to his disciples whose nature was full of inwardness and there will continue to be of his disciples on earth who form themselves inwardly according to his will. Because they will be enlightened to recognize the pure teaching of Christ and to spread it according to the will of God. Amen.